Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Atomic Shop. Today is Tuesday, so we have a reset and I kept my first impression. Let's see what we got. Then we're going to take a look at the daily weekly challenges and uh, the daily ops, see who we're going to be facing at, and I'll show you my rewards. Anyway, so let's start wasting time and jump right into it. All right, so first things first, Atomic Shop, let's go. What we got? Oh, <laughs> it looks cool. Some super mutant stuff, huh? All right, all right, let's look nice. Let's see this uh, bundle. So the bundle includes a super mutant backpack. Okay, I believe that thing is the backpack. Okay, cool. Uh, the plushie. There you go. The frame, the player icon, and the actual outfit. Oh, okay. Damn it. I, I, you know, I saw that gun paint over there, <laughs> uh, and I thought it was going to be a part of the bundle. Well, that kind of. I think I'm just going to go with the with the super oh, with the super mutant outfit. Yeah. I think I, I'll need to give it a thought. The outfit actually looks pretty nice. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I I'm gonna give it a thought if I'm just gonna get the outfit by itself or get the entire bundle. Although, man, this backpack. I don't know. We'll see. Well, still, the, the items are actually pretty cool, I gotta admit. Uh, the outfit looks good. Uh. The skin? I don't know. <laughs> but finally we got something for... Uh, this is the, the Gatling Plasma, yeah. I don't believe we ever had any skins for Gatling Plasma, so that's actually pretty cool. Uh, now we can... Now uh, those who have the Legacy weapons can skin them. <laughs> Alright, uh, what else do we got here? The plushie, the frame, uh, the player icon, the Super Mutant Sledgehammer. This one's been around for a while, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, another player icon for a 50% discount, whatever. Uh, this is what we had last week. I already covered it. Uh, greatest hits. So we got a whole bunch of stuff over here. The Plague Rider, one of the uh, Death Riders. There are four options of the power armor. I don't know. Uh, since I'm not a power armor user, and it's not, they didn't even give a discount. Well, that, that kind of sucks because... I mean, this uh, skin is very old, like since 2018, if I'm not mistaken. There are four versions of them, so it's like, that's a lot of money, man, if you want them all for your collection. Besides, they did have discounts for these skins, so I don't understand why they stopped giving those discounts out. Uh, the Spring Bundle. Mm, nah, I don't have it. I don't think I'm going to be getting that. The bush, the lamp, okay, whatever. Oh, well, they are more than happy to give us a discount for the uh, <laughs> frame, for the photo frames. <laughs> okay, the black be uh, bear mascot, 50% discount. You see, what I think is, they start they giving discounts for things that are not that are not selling, <laughs> and things that are selling, they neither give very small discounts or they don't give discounts at all. I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be happy that one of the raiders, I mean the writers, came back and I'm pretty sure if this guy is here then we should be getting some more of the skins coming back within the next uh, few, like next Tuesday most probably and then Tuesday after that and so on and so forth. But it's a real shame that there's no discount to be honest. Alright, Voltaing. Uh, I'm not going to be jumping to my wife's account to show you the prices because you will be able to see it. Uh, but this is what we got here, and I'm not going to be getting anything from here. The special, oh nice, Soundflowers flag, a free flag, a free camp building item. That's cool, I'm going to get that. Repair kits, and the keeper outfit. Oh, I don't know man. 
not my thing. Uh, and that's it. Unfortunately, I am no longer Fallout First. Yep, so I do not know what's the discount for the Fallout First item. Uh, yeah, so if you're a Fallout First and you know what's the discount for the Fallout First, uh, could you please comment it down below? I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will appreciate that. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the Atomic Shop. Let's take a look at the challenges. So for the daily challenges, we got daily operations, uh, complete daily quest, uh, complete an event, daily quest. I think they mean uh, one of those dailies where you get script for doing. Like for example, like the, the super easiest ones, and I recommend doing these all the time, is in, at the uh, Kingdom Park. So there's three of them over there. Pretty good, decent amount of script easy caps easy XP and stuff like that so and they're very easy to do so definitely I believe that's what they mean by the daily quest or by the daily uh, you know settlers or raiders uh, where you can also get treasury notes I haven't been doing those ever since I've completed all of the basically my rank reputation to the maximum so there's no need for me to get the reputation so there's no need for me to do those sort of quests uh, gold star complete daily challenge. Uh, okay, so th this is you do five dailies. Any of these, five of them, this will trigger and you will get rewarded with score. Level up, uh, kill a player in nuclear winter, repair armor, weapons, power armor, and visit another player's shelter. So these are the dailies. For the weeklies, we got build a floor decoration in a workshop or camp, uh, complete daily operations, complete. Uh, daily challenges like if you do your daily challenges today and tomorrow because you need to do this twice then you'll get uh, 1500 score tomorrow uh, complete an event 10 times harvest wild plant or fungi I do that at the Bendigo cave kill a huge creature uh, so here's a list of creatures uh, just join a uh, queen fight and you're like pretty much gonna kill all of these guys in the queen fight usually they spawn it just you gotta just shoot it uh, but if you don't know, uh, over here you can find a behemoth. Over here you can find a deathclaw, the deathclaw island, and Grafton monster over here, and the scorched queen or whatever, the queen over there. I forgot, forgot the name of that beast. <laughs> Come on. So challenges. Let me just take a look at those. So. Grafton Monster is included and Marley Queen. Uh, that's the one I was talking about. I couldn't remember the Queen. Alright, so uh, kill a legendary enemy 25 times? What? Damn. I thought this was 10. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been playing 76 much for the past, what, like two months now? And I still remember uh, the challenges, but it was usually around 10, if I'm not mistaken, but not 25. <laughs> you gotta play a lot to kill 25. Although, the chances of a cavalry, a legendary enemy, uh, maybe are higher because when I play, it's not that high unless if you know where to look, you know, like uh, the uh, the golf club, the West Egg, the event that pops over here, at AOE. Uh, once again, queens and. Actually, sometimes good, a good spawn ratio at the Watoka High School during the uh, Monster Mash event, where you can get a lot of Halloween candies. Uh, Harper's Ferry is a good one with the uh, legendaries appearing. The Wolves, I believe they're still legendary. So basically, yeah. I mean, if you play a lot of this game, definitely within the week you'll kill 25 uh, legendary enemies. Just, I think it's kind of a lot. Uh, especially for those who don't play a lot. Uh, repeatable XP, uh, scrap pre-war money, pre-war money, the easiest way to do it is to go to uh, the Morgantown Airport. Actually, you know what, let me go ahead and do it. I'm on Xbox Series X, so the loading screens are uh, pretty fast. So there is an event that you can trigger, and as soon as you kill five waves of Scorched, uh, the cargo bot will come and deliver 100 pre-war money and then there is a scrapping thing right next to it so that's where you spawn in you just follow this path over here most of the veteran players and those who've been playing this game a lot already know this 
uh, but in case if you're new that's why I decided to kind of include this uh, in this video so you kill all these guys uh, you run over there to those barracks over there where it says quarantine as soon as you kind of bypass this thing it will trigger the event the, of course have in mind the collision course that's the name of it you flare this boom and then you'll start uh, killing f uh, a wave of five scorched enemies etc uh, but do have in mind that if people have completed this you will have a cargo over here already and you should be able to loot it by the way so you might even gonna be able to skip the entire thing I I'm not gonna do it because I already completed the season uh, so yeah in case if the, the cargo is not there and uh, you know the event is not triggering as well just serve a hop and uh, try it again I'm pretty sure you'll get to it so that's pretty much it in terms of the uh, challenges let's see what are we doing in terms of the daily ops daily ops we've got uh, borrows robots and explode on death cool let's see if there are any parties over there I'll join uh, nope then I'll just create my own all right, let's see what I'm gonna get today. I'm missing out like only one armor piece from the BOS, and I'm pretty much all set. Oh crap! Nobody joined, and I'm out of time. So I hope. Oh, yeah, I did it. <laughs> Although I died once, <laughs> I'm surprised. Anyway, let's see what we got. Screw it. Eh, no signs. Why am I not surprised? Alright, Z Clan and everybody else. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. So if you want your comments to be read, feel free to comment. The only thing that I ask of you is not to swear. Simple as that. If you're new and you subscribe, well, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Saul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. If you want to join our Discord, we're over 850 members. Uh, feel free to do so. The link is down in the video description. So, uh, yeah, once again, thanks all for watching. Y'all have a good one day and night, whatever you guys like it at. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.